What's up everyone? This is Zypher here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use PK Hex to Pokegen Pokemon. Uh, what that means is you can make whatever Pokemon you want, whenever you want, however you want. So, what I'm going to be doing today is, uh, we're going to be doing it through Homebrew, first off. You have to have Homebrew, I can't stress that enough. You have to have it. I use, um, Cubic Ninja. I actually just bought Cubic Ninja, so I no longer use Browser Hacks because that is old and does not work anymore. So, I use Cubic Ninja. Now, what you're going to need is something called Save Manager. Uh, so, you're going to scroll down to your Save Manager. It's going to be right here. And I just put in the wrong game. We're going to press Exit. That was really dumb of me, wasn't it? So, we're actually going to eject this game. I was using Pokemon Y. I actually want to use Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, we're going to insert Pokemon Omega Ruby and then go back down to Save Manager. So we're going to scroll down, scroll down, there it is, save manager, and we're going to click yes for Omega Ruby. And then it's going to give you three options after the apocalypse happens on your screen. You're going to hit A for backup, B for import save data, and X for exit. You're going to want to hit A to backup. What that's going to do is it's going to write it to your SD card, so in that way your uh, the save file is on your SD card and you can do all that fun stuff. And we can just go ahead and exit from here, press X to exit, it's going to take you back to the homebrew screen, at which point you can take out your SD card from your 3DS. SD card is right here, and where did my SD card reader go? It is right here. So I have an SD card reader, just put that inside your, put your SD card right inside of there, boop, see, right inside, SD card reader looks all nice. And we're gonna put it right inside of there. You're gonna hear that little thing. It's gonna let me know that my SD card is in fact in my computer. Now we're gonna go to my main desktop where, oh look, the SD card popped up. It now realizes that there is an SD card. If you go to save backup data, it's gonna be like, ooh, look at this fun stuff. There's there's things in here. So then next you're gonna need to go onto Google or your favorite um, internet browser and you're going to want to forget that one. Uh, you're going to want to go to the website projectpokemon.org. I will have the link in the description below just so it makes it easier on you guys. Now, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click this link right here. As you can see down here, I already have it downloaded twice, so I don't really need it. Basically, I already have uh, PK Hex up on my screen, so we're just going to go ahead and minimize that. I'm going to open up PK Hex. It's going to say starting it up, and boom, you can see right here, it has my PC. It's got box one, box two. If you scroll over... It's going to have my shiny boxes, so these are all the Pokemon I've caught on my road to 50 shinies. So, you know, all those Pokemon are there. Basically, what we're going to do today is just create some random Pokemon, just just for fun. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, we're going to make a Darkrai because the Darkrai event is, in fact, coming up soon. So, we're going to go ahead and type in Darkrai. Uh, now, for you guys that are doing this for the first time, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go to File... And you're going to have to click open and you're going to click on main and you just go ahead and click open and then it'll open up your file for you if you do it the first time nothing will be in here for me it recognizes that the file has been opened beforehand so that's what it looks like so then you go ahead and click file click open and then you find an empty space um so we're going to make a dark eye we're going to make it level 50 actually no we'll make it level 100 because i think that's the level the dark eye is going to be during the event we are going to go ahead and make it a where is it where is it? We're going to make it a modest nature. And we're going to give it full friendship. So 255 friendship. And we're going to make it from the United States. And then we're going to make it from California since that's where I'm from. And the 3DS region is going to be Americas. And then you're going to go... If you want to make it shiny, uh, just re-roll this. Just hit re-roll. It's going to give it a random ID. And then uh, we're going to make it shiny. Just cause. For fun. And then we're going to go to Met. And then uh, we're going to make it from Omega Ruby. The Met location is going to be... Um, question mark. It doesn't know where it's going to be from. And then we're going to put it in a random Pokeball. And we're going to say the Met level was 100. And then the Met date. It shows that my Met date is 1-1-2000. That's because of the date I have on my 3DS set to. Because um, I actually just got Cubic Ninja today. So... Yeah, my 3DS used to be set as way back in the past. So then we can go to the stats and go to IVs. We're just going to do 31 across the board. So back out of that, 31. 
Delete that. 31. So we're going to have like the uber strong dark rye right now. It's going to be too strong. And then um, we're going to make it so its special attack is 255. I'm sorry, 252. And then uh, we'll make its HP 126. And we'll make its uh, defense 126. Because we can. So we've got the full amount of IDVs. Or we've got that split down a little bit. And then we'll give it um, 8. Or not 8. We'll give it 4 in the... Uh, can I do... Yeah. We'll give it 4 in the special defense department. So that way it's got like amazing IVs and EVs and we'll go to attacks and we'll make it have Dark Void. And then I believe it can learn Aura Sphere. So we'll give it Aura Sphere. We will give it, um, what are other good moves for Darkrai? Let's see. We can teach it, pretty much you can give a Pokemon anything. So you can put any kind of Pokemon you want in there. You can teach it whatever you want. Just know that you can't use it online if it's got invalid moves. So, we'll teach it Aura Sphere, we'll teach it Dark Void, and, um, what else? We'll teach it Hypnosis, no, it already knows Hypnosis. We'll teach it Dream Eater, teach it Dream Eater, so in that way, Nightmare does more, and then I, we'll also put Nightmare. Uh, so in that way, this thing is just gonna be able to just destroy anything that falls asleep in battle. And then, we can go to O2 and Misk. Trainer ID, um, you can leave that how it is, unless you want to put your actual trainer ID. The O2 is going to be PK Hex. You can go ahead and change it, and we're going to make it Zypher. So that is my name. We're going to make that Zypher. And then, all you have to do, once you're done with that, is find an empty box or a box you don't want anymore. For instance, I gen a guy some Celio a while ago, and he was then like, no, I don't want them. So I'm just going to go and click set and boom, the dark ride is going to show up right there. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to file and you're going to click export save and then you're going to click export main. Uh, the save PK6, that's if you want to save just a specific Pokemon. So if you want to save dark ride for specifics and then you want to send it to someone else's PK hex, uh, you can do that. So you can just be like, hey, here's the PK hex file and just take that dark ride. But instead, we're just going to go to export save, export main. It's going to show up right here. Just click save and then click yes. Guys, I can't stress enough that you have to click set. I tried to do this the other day. Uh, not the other day, but I tried to do this earlier where I had the Flabebe, the Hone Edge, and the Absol, the Skrulp, and the Esper. I was trying to gen a team for Hayden. And um, I didn't click set so that they didn't save. So you have to click set on it in order for it to go through. So once you're done with that, you've clicked save, you've clicked export, you're then going to go ahead and right click on your SD card and click eject because we don't want our SD card to get broken. So we are then going to take it and we're going to put it back inside of our 3DS. So you're going to put it right back in and we're going to go back to our uh, 3DS screen. So once you're back here, you're going to go back to save manager because once all that stuff has been saved and it's back on the root of your SD card. You're going to go back here and of course there's going to be the three options again. And now you're going to hit B to import your save data. So boom, there is now a dark right in my save data. We're going to click exit. And we're going to click the start button on our 3DS because we have to reboot the 3DS. So we're going to click yes. It's going to, you know, it's going to freeze for a couple seconds. Don't worry about it, but it's going to reboot itself. And then we're going to get back to the standard uh, screen. So you're, we're going to go into our Omega Ruby. It's going to load up. And then uh, just give it a couple seconds to load. And I honestly don't know where I am in my Omega Ruby. So I may have to fly somewhere. We don't know. We'll check. But So it's going to load up. It's going to load up. And once we get through here, we're going to see... Yes, I have a bunch of Pokemon. I have every Pokemon in existence because I'm amazing like that. But it's going to save us right here. And then I'm going to go into my PC, boot it up to PC, land its PC, and organize boxes. And then, boom, look at that. There's a shiny Darkrai. Then it was Dark Void, Aura Sphere, Dream Eater, and Nightmare in my PC. So, guys, that is how you use PK Hex. And if you guys have any other questions, again, the links to everything will be in the description below. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you guys want to know how to use ninja hacks for homebrew I will show you that in a later video um, but yeah so I, I can't preface this enough guys uh, for those of you that subscribe to me for the homebrew stuff uh, stick with me for ninja hacks unfortunately I'm not gonna be doing browser hacks anymore unless Smelium decides to release uh, it says like you know the updated version is okay to use for um, for browser hacks but unfortunately I'm gonna be using uh, ninja hacks from now on as it is a safer and more stable way of doing homebrew but anyway guys thank you all so much for watching go ahead and smash that like button with your face because if you don't a puppy's gonna die a puppy died because you didn't hit the like button yeah anyway guys Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace, and take care.